Okay, here they asked for my testimony, the explanation of how I became Christian. I was raised going to church every Sunday, never missed a Sunday, went to Christian camps, learned a little bit about the Bible. But as I said earlier, at 14, I was really tempted to sin. They taught me evolution. And I said, well, I love science. My science teacher says man came from an ape-like ancestor. The Bible's wrong. Why should I waste my time reading a book that's wrong? And why should I waste my time obeying a book that's wrong and uh, denying myself of so much fun? So for 12 years, I said that was my belief, but I'm convinced there is no such thing as an atheist. There are people who say they are atheists, but they're not really an atheist. Here's what I mean. I was working in Jacksonville, Florida with some other guys on, on a ship. We were out for dinner, and a fish bone gets stuck in my throat at dinner. What's the first thing I did? I said to myself, dear Lord in heaven, please don't let me choke to death with this fish bone. Please, I'm only 24 years old. Don't let me die, God. Well, I eventually got a piece of bread. I said, I'm either going to die or get this bone out. It went away. I said, okay, don't have any need for your now, God. I'm going to go on with my life. So I claim to be an atheist. But at the age of 26, I had a good job, I had sports going for me, everything was going great, but it just had to be more to life. That was a big impact to what is the real purpose of life? Is it working? Is it doing this? Is it playing sports? I didn't know what it was. Uh, a nice person invited me to a church, and I said, oh, yeah, I'll go back. And I liked the people, so I was hearing the Bible a little bit. But then I got a creation document that showed the eight men fossils, or the eight men drawings and explain the fossils were tiny bits and pieces of bone. I go, wait a minute, I thought they had millions, 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 and this was a proven scientific fact. And I took two days off work, researched it, found out I was lied to, and I said, okay, there's got to be a God. I always, deep down, knew there was, but I didn't like the idea of it because I didn't want to obey. It wasn't a mass murderer by anything, but I preferred to do what I wanted to do. So. I said, I love to read, I'll read the whole Bible, cover to cover, take notes. And it really, really gripped me as being the Word of God. And I believed it, and I claimed to believe in God and Jesus Christ. But this is just my personal testimony. Uh, at the age of 26, I believed there was a Creator. I believed the Bible was the Word of God. I believed Jesus died for people's sins. But it wasn't until three years later, on June 12, 1989, I came home from work on a Monday, and I just said, I gotta repent of this sin. And I was had all the intellectual belief, but I wasn't living as God would want me to. And on that day, right in the corner of my bed, the northeast corner, I just said, God, I'm gonna miss it, but I gotta repent of this sin because I you know it's uh, annoying and disobedient to you. But that's when I felt I had a relationship with God. Until then, it was just intellectual. Satan believes in God. Satan is a young earth, Bible-believing uh, entity who believes the Bible is the Word of God. Jesus died for sins. But G uh, Satan does not have a relationship, and Satan is not forgiven. What separates heaven from hell is the F word, forgiven. <laughs> It's not the G word, good. Nobody's good enough. There's a lot of good people in my opinion. They do a lot of good things. They're not good enough. They're still sinners. And to many people, this is a relief. Because in an atheist, I'd say, I'll never be good enough. Why should I even try? Well, nobody will ever be good enough. You're still in the flesh. You should try to be perfect. You won't even come close. But the Christian is forgiven of their sins. And that's why Jesus went up on the cross. I hope everyone becomes Christian because they believe it to be true. Not because mom and dad want them to be. Not because they hope to be happier and get straighter teeth in a Cadillac. Your life might be ruined after accepting Christ, but it's about truth. And with truth can come hope and perseverance and eternal life with God. So do it for the right reasons. Truth, Christians have nothing to fear if they seek truth. But I threw that repent word in. It's not like people don't like that word. Yeah, it's great. It's more but for three years, I had all the knowledge. Yeah. But then when I repented, I felt close to God. Because, you know, sometimes when people don't feel close to God, are you sinning a lot?
Yeah. And we're human. You know? If you can cut that sin, read your Bible, pray more, fellowship more, you'll feel closer to God. And the goosebump thing is His grace. We all need it.